Pat, are you ready for our jam of the day? Yeah. All I right. Am. Let's. I, I'm, uh, I'm waiting with bated breath. Oh, I think um, you're gonna you're gonna know the opening chords here. Oh yeah. Oh, it is foreigner. A classic. Cold as ice. This, uh, is a, this is a classic that has been uh, a staple of classic rock radio stations for oh yeah decades. Yeah, I think the moment it released, it went on classic rock radio. Yeah, dude. Well, this this is 1977, man. This is the height of 77? AOR. 77. Wow. This I is. Thought, I would have thought it was a little bit later. The, that's that's Everybody's what. Everybody's talking about punk music blowing up in 77. It's like <laughs> nah cold as ice man <laughs> yeah well at least uh dj buddy love classic ccr who uploaded this video <laughs> says it's from 77 so i'm gonna take his word for it sure. uh <laughs> that's a mouthful <laughs> <laughs> let's get down into these comments buki 749 from three weeks ago but said is that jabuki <laughs> no just buki <laughs> oh i was about to say <laughs> buki 749 from three weeks ago I'm sorry. The guys in this band are really ugly. <laughs> I love I, Buki. I hope is like just a really, really bitchy thirteen-year-old. I, I wonder like what they'd imagine the members of Foreigner to look like. Just buff dudes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that what they are like? <laughs> they just look like right said Fred. <laughs> yeah. But the the thing that is amazing is that if you watch the video for Urgent. The saxophone is played by Junior Walker, uh -huh. like the the famous like you know saxophonist. Like the most well known song that he did as an artist is the song Shotgun. Uh -huh. um, but he was like a great session uh, saxophonist. But they don't have Junior Walker in the video. They have the most amazing mustache guy <laughs> that's miming playing a saxophone. Hell yeah! And it's awesome. Heather Sakia from four months ago. Yes. I so want to dedicate this song to my ex-boyfriend <laughs> that did nothing but play me as a freaking damn game and made out to be the town fool. That's a story that's been <laughs> attached to this song hundreds of thousands oh, of times. Oh, there's probably. there's more just yeah, in this yeah. list. There's probably the, I imagine that the comment section is just like, you know what? I dedicate this song to Mandy who, like, I loved you, and I bought you uh, a Dodge Magnum and all this sort of thing, and you slept with Dave, you're cold as ice, <laughs> and willing to sacrifice our love. <laughs> Forever evolving from one year ago. I remember my mom drinking brewskis and smoking doobies and to these old songs all night long, every night. <laughs> 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 the, the every night makes it sad. <laughs> I imagine it's just that song. Yeah. <laughs> Play it again. What? <laughs> Play it again. <laughs> I can't. Re I can't rewind the a track. You're going to. You know. <laughs> Darnell Thompson from eight years ago, and this is the most eight years ago this comment could possibly be. Yeah. I just heard this song in Five Guys. I used a Google Plus song search widget for the artist. <laughs> Google Plus needs to have an update to share songs you search when using their widget. <laughs> You're literally the only person who's ever used Google Plus. We found him. It's Daryl Thompson eight years ago. <laughs> Complaining about Google Did Plus he and a widget. Shazam? Like, is that the, the, the moment <laughs> where this guy's eating this big, greasy bag of fries over at Five Guys? No, no, because literally yesterday was my eight year anniversary in LA. So, if, assuming this was left in 2012, I had Shazam on my phone. You don't need a Google Plus widget, Daryl. That sucks. I wanted that to be the origin story. <laughs> Where this guy's just like, there's this song, and I've heard it on the radio a million times. If only there was a way. If there was only a way that I could re figure it out, but also share it with my friends. Dude, actually, you and me started hanging out in 2012, and I would regularly send you screenshots of my grocery store Shazams. That was a thing I did. Don't ruin this <laughs> mythology for me. <laughs> I want it to be Daryl, what's his name, at Five Guys, inspired by... Electra C from three months ago. Mm -hmm. This is dedicated to that Canadian two-timing son of a bitch. I wasted two years of my <laughs> life on him. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, I love it. I love it. 
flowing mullet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Igor K from two weeks ago. Yeah. It reminds me of the, and then in quotes, it reminds me of the Beatles. <laughs> right? It's not true, and I don't know why that's in quotes. <laughs> Since they don't sound. Well, no, I mean, the quotes thing is, I, I love that sort of thing because people do that because they. It's the it's the extension of like people that use air quotes to like mark certain terms. Like people use it as like "I love you" and they use air quotes because <laughs> they think it's like kind of a, a it boosts the signal or something. See, I think this guy's a million years old and he thinks he put Beatles in quotation marks because he thinks someone's gonna call him on misspelling the insect. <laughs> like he's like, "Oh, I want you to know I'm talking about the musical group, the Beatles, and yeah, not." But also, the- I would I would like to know what song he thinks sounds like <laughs> cold as ice i think what be- of the beatles discography sounds like cold as ice nothing there's not a thing there are certainly beatles songs that use piano in them i yeah. suppose uh because maybe none that's of those losers have glue grams pipes all right <laughs> yeah. yeah none of them could sing like lou uh gage weiss from three months ago <laughs> Me about the shower water temp after my sister gets out of the damn shower. <laughs> the shower is cold as ice. His yeah, no, I know. Sister is using all the damn yeah. water. Uh, <laughs> and then we got another one about the sister here. Uh, American Hero, three months ago. <laughs> this describes my sister in every way. Wow. You never take advice. <laughs> Spoken like a true hero. I just, you know. Uh, Hemoped medalist from one year ago. Boomers had Joan Crawford. Gen Xers had the Clintons, Bushes, and Hussein. What? (laughs) Boomers had Joan Crawford. Joan Crawford was a movie star in the 30s. How old do you think that's? uh, How is that like? Was she the president? (laughs) I don't know. Just I don't. It's one of those comments where you're like, who are you talking to? What is this about? Was she like Secretary General of the UN or something? Jim like Crawford? Yeah. No, like she's... what? Like it's just like okay. Like and and by Hussein does he mean like Saddam Hussein or Barack Obama? I would maybe because somebody that would make that comment would probably like go for yeah. The I, I think he says Clintons, Bushes, and Hussein. So maybe maybe he's talking about Barack. I, I don't know. I, but like the thing is, is that why Joan? Like, is there a show? Does he think politics is like a, a movie? Like, does he think right. CNN is like a show? <laughs> like, he turned on, I'm watching my shows, and he's like watching <laughs> CNN. Just like, oh, man. You know. David Wan from 11 months ago. Mm-hmm. Man, I play this song as DiCaprio falls in the icy water in Titanic. Yeah, I have a twisted sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> this guy rules. <laughs> This guy, I love that he'd be like watching Titanic with his girlfriend, and it's like, hold on, I've got the perfect thing. And bam, 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 but bam, no, bam, like, no. no, but I, I love that because I imagine him saying that. Like he works at, at Best Buy, or he works at like, you know, the warehouse, or he works at the, the office, or something like that. And he's just as like, yeah. And the song comes on, and somebody's like, yeah, I, I say that. And then like nobody responds whatsoever. <laughs> and he reads it as like, Oh yeah, they're shocked and like scandalized. So I'm like, yeah. yeah, I got a twist in sexy humor. <laughs> <laughs> like it's it's it just plays itself out. <laughs> it's evocative. It's an evocative comment. Uh, Cynthia Ann Garmin Wade from five hours ago. We love you, Russia. The dance we have is from the old of you. Blessings. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I don't. No clue about that one. <laughs> that was a <laughs> Is that what Glassnosed was? <laughs> the dance we have is from the old of you. <laughs> but, I mean, look, you're, like, like, <laughs> is that the the thing that they they did? Like, yeah, like <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, the dance we have is from the old of you. Blessings, foreigner. Uh, 
the foreigner was created in a lab <laughs> <laughs> in Leningrad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right next to the human Z's. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, a very L- <laughs> Lyndon LaRouche thing. Like Lyndon LaRouche <laughs> believed that the Beatles were agents of the English to destroy America. Oh yeah, Bob Hope believed the same thing. Yeah, and that <laughs> that the Queen like create M- that they were MI five agents. Uh, maybe um, foreigner was created by the Russians. To ruin trailer parks Soviets, all across America. To, to <laughs> dominate album-oriented rock <laughs> and create foster goodwill. Uh, to we create- will make Redneck sad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> so that they will support the SALT II Treaty. Um, uh, the Joker from a month ago. They'll feel, they'll feel vulnerable. And then they'll f- they'll vote for Reagan so they can feel strong. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll I get some know. accelerationism like some, yeah, going yeah, some here. Yeah, real seventy chess sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. uh, the Joker from a month ago. I dedicate this song to Ellen. Hashtag rest in peace. Hashtag badass milf. <laughs> <laughs> Put that on my fucking tomb, please. Hashtag rest in peace. Hashtag badass milk. <laughs> There's, I did the the air quotes thing, but there is nothing I love more than than hashtags, <laughs> especially when it regards a trashy funeral. <laughs> just nonsense. Like you just say some nonsense, and it's just a hashtag. Uh. Um. Sky Rush, yes, Mind Eraser number ten <laughs> from t- from <laughs> one year ago. But I'm the future of the entire WWE. <laughs> I, ice bucket pours on Seth Rollins. You're as cold as ice, Seth. <laughs> uh, Oh, I love it. Is that the guy that keeps bringing guns to the performance center? <laughs> like the guy. <laughs> no, I think it's that guy. Have you ever seen that? There's that one where I think it's when Seth still had the briefcase in like 2015, and he's like walking. He's walking down the ramp towards the ring, and some fan just comes out of the audience and just mimics his steps, and then the fucking security like takes him out. Yeah. Maybe it's that guy. Yeah. Um, I have an idea for a character. <laughs> it's it's, uh, it's the NWO, but it's the band Foreigner, and I'm the lead singer. <laughs> you know? Hey It'll man, be, you know what? Uh, Kiss you know, had the Kiss Demon on Nitro. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have the Foreigner dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> He's a guy who just gets drunk and jumps over bonfires. <laughs> He looks like he looks like Todd from Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> you, Lily Rosehart yeah. from three years ago. When this song would come on the radio, my dad would make fun of it. He'd be like, "If someone has head lice, you're willing to sacrifice your hair." <laughs> <laughs> doesn't make any goddamn sense. Yeah. Uh, uh, Michael DeMarco from two weeks ago. I will sing a foreigner song live to anyone that wants to hear it anytime. Just reach out to me and I can connect with you via Facebook. Feel free to bring your friends. I won't charge a dime to sing foreigner. I sing in a high register. DM me for a link to my Facebook room. You know what? That guy probably can nail (laughs) foreigner. Like he's the guy that people at the karaoke night hate but secretly love because he nails foreigner so darn well <laughs> sheila mccoy from he, two which months one do you think he's really good at i think head games yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. or, or hot blooded yeah i think i think head games has that tempo change in it that's yeah if you can nail that one you nailed it <laughs> <laughs> sheila mccoy from two months ago exactly like my husband treats me he's lost I pray that God will send an angel or an army of angels to protect him. Hi, C. Tom. This dark force that has surrounded him and his heart. Okay. All right. Uh, Yeah. Thank you for sharing on the YouTube page for Gold as Ice by Barner. (laughs) The Village Green doesn't exist anymore. (laughs) all the crazy so you have to create your own village green funneled into youtube and you need to find where your people are at (laughs) and her people foreigner people (laughs) (laughs) 
She's probably tearing it up, maybe on Super Tramp, uh, but if she's a oh, little yeah. bit harder edged, like maybe on uh, Ted Nugent Stranglehold. I don't know. <laughs> Alex Borden from three months ago. She's such a good person. How do you sleep at night? I just use you because I've nowhere else to stay. I sneak over. I see her whenever I feel like it. You're really close. I just want to pay your fucking wife for parking money, get a divorce, and move on. Leave her alone. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's a lot. I don't I Was don't this in it. all caps? or No, it's, it's, it's kind of spaced out like a Cormac McCarthy uh, yeah, yeah. thing. There's no punctuation, just just <laughs> hard hard paragraph breaks between each sentence. Um, and I don't even understand the line. I just want to pay your fucking wife for parking money. <laughs> but then it also seems like he's doing her. Yeah, because he's parking his uh, he's parking his backside. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, in, in their bed, in their marital bed. <laughs> Yeah, I fornicated to your wife upon the bed you bought. Yeah, yeah. From Serta. Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> head games. <laughs> That's what head games are. <laughs> she, she's got double vision because she got two guys. <laughs> <laughs> David Robinson from six months ago. Cold as ice has CNA, which in astrology is cardinal air. Where my Pluto is located. Coincidence? And Pluto? Cold as ice. Um. <laughs> Naval officer, <laughs> Naval Academy grad, <laughs> basketball Hall of Famer, astrologer. Yep, David Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> That's deep. That's deep astrology right there. You really? I don't think Pluto is included in astrology because they didn't know about it. No. Eric Sanchez from three months ago. They were screaming for she's wise, but she cries. Looking at all these spies. Telling these lies. Time to say bye. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. That seems like a, a Scott Steiner like <laughs> promo that just trails. We're screaming on. for she's wise. Sacrifice. <laughs> Looking at these spies telling lies. Just had to say goodbye. <laughs> if you know what's good for you, you'll stay at a Ridgewood trailer court. <laughs> Asshole. <Yeah. laughs> I'm going to sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> Cat T from one year ago. <laughs> this is what happens when a woman such as I am ignored as long as I have been by the world. <laughs> Once again, this is the comment section for Cold as Ice by Foreigner. <laughs> no better place to be ignored by the world than the comment section of Cold as Ice by Foreigner. But she's created in her mind an alternate like universe <laughs> where... Back in 1977, Mick Jones and Lou Graham were aware of this woman, <laughs> uh, whatever her name is, um, and wrote the song about her. Like, this is some real, like, mind-bending stuff. Like, this is a Danny Boyle movie. <laughs> you know? <laughs> There's layers upon layers upon layers. Carl Plummer from 11 months ago. Denise used to sing this to me all the time, but out of curiosity, I decided to give it a listen. But the lyrics version, she was writing away. Years later, I realized a few things, but I grew up with a frosty heart, and it hardened into ice, so it's just a natural progression. <laughs> Satan caused it to happen. It's weird, because you realize that, you, that your heart no longer feels love. Really, it is a relief. Carl, you're scaring us. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I listened to the lyrics version. So she was just doing an a cappella version of it. <laughs> Carl, the line, but it's weird when you realize that your heart no longer feels love. It is a relief. Just, Carl, you need to talk to a doctor. Yeah, it's like his his his, his significant other wife is just whispers, chim, 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 chim. He's like, what is this song? And then he hears the lyrics, and then he has this sort of like fugue state where Satan shows up. And, yeah, I was going to say, the next line is just like, one day a real rain will come and wash all the scum off the streets. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and Lou uh, Graham will sing with Foreigner again. <laughs> uh, two more. Not this brown haired weirdo <laughs> that sings for them now <laughs> packing state state fairs oh man people were pissed opening, about that guy opening 
Dude, for there's Truck so Zilla. many comments of people being like, yeah. bring back Lou Graham. Yeah. Uh, Ed Smith from six months ago. This is the song you play when you're really sick with someone and your girl can care less and accuses you of getting wasted when you're sick with a virus that you didn't even want. And then you tell her mom. <laughs> this is from six months ago. This is like straight up at the beginning of COVID. Yeah, yeah. Uh, with a virus you didn't even want. And then you tell her mom, mother-in-law, and she comes to your house and belittles you and puts you down for an hour because your girl must have talked shit about you. And then the fucking hospital calls and you're really sick and no one apologizes or even cares. Cold as ice. <laughs> Ed is dead now. Ed for sure succumbed to the crowd. No, I mean, it's amazing because it's just like, he like they're just like, oh, Ed, you're just, you know, you're just... Beer drunk and weed high. <laughs> You're overreacting. No. It's like, no, I have a virus. No. And then it's just like <laughs> 180,000 people dead in the United States. And yeah. Do they believe him? No, no. Probably not. You know? Yeah. <laughs> or maybe he stands up and he sees the mountain of bodies in his way. I have been vindicated. <laughs> right, right. Or he's dead and they're tweeting that COVID is alive from his dead Twitter account like yeah. Herman Cain. <laughs> yeah, where he's just like, I I have been vindicated. <laughs> Let me celebrate with bush lights. <laughs> Maybe uh, that's the guy that you saw buying the white claw and the keyboard duster. He was just like, I, I showed them. <laughs> I finally beat I it. I told him <laughs> I wasn't wasted. I'm going to celebrate by walking on sunshine. Yeah, yeah. And finally, speaking of sunshine, sunshine from nine months ago. Mm. I didn't even do that on purpose. Yeah. Uh, sunshine from nine months ago. And I love how practical this is. Mm -hmm. okay. I heard this on TV in the living room while I was in my bedroom, and I recognized it. So I went to YouTube, and here I am. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you write that? <laughs> Who possibly needed to know? About your movements from one room to another room based on Cold as Ice by Foreigner. <laughs> That's insanity. No one needs to hear this. This is not for human consumption. It's insane. Yeah. It's insane, Sunshine. Well, I mean, but it's the thing where people just, they have no venue. Yeah. yeah they yeah, have yeah. no venue, and they've lost the capacity to interact with each other. <laughs> Like most of these people, uh, their kids don't talk to them anymore because they're Trump supporters. Well, no, I mean it's like people are lonely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they need something. And do they have anything to communicate? N n no, <laughs> and they fill it with with other things, right? I mean, if you don't provide a narrative for for sunshine um, of like a conspiracy theory or Facebook, you know, memes or whatever, right? Um, you know, chain emails about whatever. They, she basically is like, what do I do today? And it's like, well, lunch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I moved from my bed to the sofa. Got gas at the at the at the gas station. Uh, I piss outside. And maybe went it feels the, better. Went to the post office. <laughs> um, yeah, and it's just like these things where it's just like, yeah, this happened. Um, significant to me right now. Because I, I heard it. You should it. probably know about it. Yeah, I moved. Yeah. This is the context. I'm setting the context, <laughs> so you can be like, "Wow, how?" So, is you have live in a place? What's the floor plan of your house? <laughs> is it open concept that you're able to hear that well? <laughs> right? Do you live in a studio? <laughs> like you, it, it evokes question, and people are just throwing it out there. Yeah, yeah. So that somebody can just take it. And, and follow up, get some follow, so they can they can feel something, you know. Yeah, it's yeah. like the people that comment on, like whenever you respond to comments on YouTube <laughs> with people that write like weird stuff. Oh yeah, to us. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that don't like, and they just write things that are just, and then you just feed them. It's like you're giving them the vindication they want. Yeah, yeah, and and yeah. they and the things that they feel bad about or the things that they, they melts away and they become like oh I, you, this person sees me as a human being uh -huh. um because <laughs> i haven't left the house in two three four months you know yeah you know sunshine we 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 hear you <laughs> yeah yeah we hear yeah. you we see you we oh, feel you yeah does she like the song who cares uh-huh <laughs> she was moved by it <laughs> literally yeah she moved from 
the bedroom to the living room. She heard it. Yeah. You know. And now she's on YouTube. Now she's on YouTube telling us yeah. the story of her life. <laughs> as it relates to Cold as Ice yeah. by Barner. This is a this is a formative thing. <laughs> this is a Bill Strong room in right there. <laughs> the construction of a person <laughs> over time. Well, that is our jam of the day. Yeah. Cold as Ice by Foreigner, and that is our program. Yeah. Uh, hey, everybody, check out the video for Urgent and check out the saxophone guy. <laughs> He's the funniest human being known to man. And Lou Graham has no moves whatsoever. Oh, yeah, no, <laughs> definitely not. The person that was just like, oh, yeah, these guys aren't good looking, they don't know how to move at all either. No, so. no, no. I'm not saying anything about the way they look, but they can't move, <laughs> you know. Uh, and, and for more about Farner, go back and listen to our uh, Chris Crofton episode, Jukebox Hero, where he breaks down uh, Lou Graham telling the story of how he came up with Jukebox Hero, <laughs> and it's the funniest goddamn thing you I've ever to, heard. You have to, yeah. Uh, well, uh, with one guitar <laughs> and two guitars. Well, so what Crofton said is like he saw an interview with Lou Graham where he was just like, he was like, yeah, I had to come up with, because I think they'd already had a big song. Yeah. And so Lou Graham just sat there with a kick drum, no yeah. other instruments, and just kicked it until he came up with the song. Well, it's funny because one <laughs> of the things that, one of the songs that I suggested for for um, the the jam of the day was uh, Cherry Pie by Warrant. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and like, Janie Lane uh, saw himself as a serious hair metal musician, uh-huh. a balladeer. <laughs> Uh, if you will, I because hello, I am a serious away. hair metal musician. Yeah, <laughs> and a, a a hair metal artor. Um, and uh, he the uh, record label was just like, yeah, we need a, a single. There's no single on uh, this. I guess Filthy Stinking Rich or whatever album it is. And they were or, yeah, they needed something. They needed a radio hit. And he just like just bleh, you know here's a song. Yeah, Cherry Pie. Um, and it became mass, and he resented the hell out of that song. Oh yeah, 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 and to the point in which I believe it led to a divide between him and his girlfriend Bobby Brown, who was the woman in the video Cherry Pie. Oh shit! Okay. Yeah, but he just like threw it out there and like made the song like forty five minutes or something. I don't know if that's what he said or an hour. Yeah, um, yeah, and there's those sort of things where it's like you will yourself. There's a goal, and you will yourself into right, right. something, and it's uh, bizarre uh, results can come. Yeah. You know? Well, yeah, that's our jam of the day, and that is our program.